Hello, hello, yay. <laughs> ah, we're so excited to see you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to play. Woohoo, and happy anniversary, everybody. Woohoo, celebration. All right, well, um, you know, whenever you have a big anniversary, it makes you reminisce. Um, so I started to just kind of look through all the areas of music box and and certainly thinking of those those brand new members when oh my goodness i mean it was just a couple teachers ideas that got music box started and so those founding members um wow i i just i'm so filled with gratitude <laughs> that you just had the patience and and um the support to, and and to believe like you know, it's gonna be good, keep going and the encouragement. So um, Music Box was actually started out of conversation at TMEA, Texas Music Educators. And I presented some sessions at TMEA and then I was having conversation like in one of the lobby areas um, with a bunch of teachers and they were asking questions. And I said, oh, I got that question like three times last week in an email and then somebody asked for a song and I went, oh yeah, I, I just got that request too. And then somebody just kind of said, you know, you should have, you should have a, a site where we could go. So like when, when you answer the question and then that question comes up again and again, you know, teachers could just go and, you know, like search for that topic um, or for that activity and that was it i mean we just you know started like brainstorming yeah you could have videos and oh you could share like different themes and you know it just it, that's that's really how it happened at it you know the at the lobby of of outside one of the presentation halls at tmea so all you texas people who are well i mean people go from all over the world to tmea biggest music conference there is so um but uh if if there were any founding members here right now and the members uh that are the teachers that were there just having the idea um like 11 12 years ago so um thank you thank you thank you so much um so i thought it would be kind of fun to take you on on the little tour that I was on reminiscing getting this started. So music box. Wow, this got really long because you know when you've been at it for since 1978. <laughs> That's when I started. So this gets really long, you know, like from the very beginning and my ORF training and da, 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 da. so you know if you want to know all about that and then the chron chronology of the whole all the all the things that happen so for me looking back at this um wow i just felt so grateful so so incredibly thankful and i'm seeing some faces and e even some music rap city teachers that are here too. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that know, I mean, have known me for so, so long. So um, it's been very, very exciting. So you can see all these steps here. We had Music Box, and now I feel like Music Box has kind of become our, um, kind of the remodeled house. That's kind of how I look at it. And it's mainly because the teacher says, you know, can you add this or can you add that? Could you share this? And so we just keep, you know, decorating and adding things to it. And then uh, the more sequential curriculum was suggested and just the housing of the website and all what was involved in that um, 
just, you know, it's kind of like, do you build the new house or do you like keep going with this remodel thing? Um, and just the way the website was, it was really the only way we could go is, is to have this separate place to house that. So kind that's kind of how Music Rhapsody membership got with all the more extensive curriculum from the babies up through recorder rookies. But we just always thought, you know, it's it's got to always include Music Box. So, you know, maybe Music Rhapsody is like the front house and Music Box is the back house. <laughs> um, so this is the place where uh, I definitely just get inspired. And that's why when you come into music box, like if I see you with a comment or something and um, there's no picture for you, I'll go, you know, I, I'm glad to hear you in the box, but I can't see you. Uh, I love, I, I love seeing all our, you know, I, I just feel like we're such a special group. We really have some, you know, some core values. We really have so much in common of how we like to teach and the approach to teaching that appeals to us. And so, um, you know, it's just like my inspiration and my family here, my music family to see everybody. So um, if, oh, there's my friend Paula, she's not in there yet. <laughs> If I see you, I'm seeing some of you at the meeting going, hey, I don't see your picture in here. So get your picture in here. It's really, it's really fun to see and you can um, message each other as well. So if, if you, here's, uh, here's the talented Crystal. She's the one, Crystal's the one who gave us uh, Sally Ride. Sally Ride, Sally Goes Around the Sun. I hope you got that. It's just, kids love it. It's so adorable. The PowerPoint, now we put in a coloring page um, for us Zoom people that we can send that home as well. And um, so so here's, here's Crystal. So if I wanted to, you know, if I want to send her a message, I could just send her a private message as well. So if you want to talk to each other, you could do that. You can do that too. And our blog is really kind of the highlights of maybe what was in something special that was in a letter, something new. Um, just kind of highlighting the weeks, the months, what's what's been going on. The forum really is the place when I say, just click Ask Lynn. This is where you go. You click Ask Lynn on the homepage. And so you can see um, the different topics. You just set up a topic. When you, when you click Ask Lynn, you set up a, a topic and you can see the kinds of things that we've been talking about. So you, let's see, where is uh, recent, what, this kind of got in a very different assortment. <laughs> For some reason, September's not coming up at the top. That's interesting. Huh, huh. No singing due to COVID. That sounds recent. Mm -hmm. But there were a whole bunch of September ones. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it just is. But she wanted to talk about, you know, the COVID guidelines. Of course, we've been talking a, a whole lot about all that. And so this is humongous. It's, it's, it just goes on and on and on. There are so many topics. So that's where this search feature at the top and you see me always remind you guys, don't forget the search feature. But it's, again, it's, it's become, it's, it becomes so big that some teachers just go ask Lynn, you know, um, you know, I search for that topic and 
uh, there's 45 things here. So <laughs> what, what do you think I should do because it's four year olds? Um, and that, I love to do that. So, okay, you, you know, I love to share. So just don't hesitate to just click Ask Lynn and you can ask me and I can find what you need. Or sometimes we've just taught something in the last year that we added something that, you know, again, it's teachers requests that, that cause it to grow and, and have more available to you. So it just helps all of us really when, when you're telling me specifically what you want and I add the new things too. Oh yes, the, our questions, um, you can chat the question at any, if you have questions, you can chat it at any time. And yeah, we're gonna have time at the end for um, questions, not just at the end, I mean, in a little bit, in a little bit, we'll have questions and then we'll, we'll have um, uh, maybe just a little bit of highlighting the questions that have recently come in in the last couple of days and some things we added to answer those questions. Um, all right, so forum, I would use the search if, if you're looking for a specific topic. If you're just looking for new ideas, oh my goodness, I mean, there's just so much, so, so, so much in the forum. You just can get so many ideas. I mean, you guys are, are tremendous. I mean, you share so much. So I get, I get a lot of good ideas from you too. <laughs> it's very fun. Um, the, okay, the event, you guys, we're going to really, really hope that the event happens. Uh, we're going to go for the teacher training in Redondo. We've been at this hotel for a long, long time, Redondo Beach Hotel. It's just gorgeous. And a lot of people have come here for vacation. Um, I had a teacher come two years in a row from Brazil <laughs> for her vacation. I've had teachers come from all over and it's uh, just the harbor and bike riding and kayaks and uh, you know, it's just, it's just a very fun area. All the beach cities are super fun. And we're, we're on this beautiful deck in this beautiful room with this harbor view. So it feels like vacation, but we're all so dedicated to our teaching and our students and this approach to learning, the Orff Schulberg approach. And so, Training is is fun too. I mean, we're out on the deck practicing our ukuleles, practicing the different sizes of recorders and sharing lessons, preparing for the course. And so, um, you know, it was really sad to have the first year since, you know, 28 years ago um, that we didn't get to have the live training, but wow, the virtual people hung in there. That was, it was amazing we did four full days, nine to five. So um, those of you who are at the summer training on Zoom, we, we did two four day courses and I'm, I, it was fun. It, we, had a, we had a really great time. So, but nothing like being live. So the, um, it's already booked and they were really great with us last year. They said, let's try it again. Hopefully we'll all be back. So. Um, so that's June 20, starts June 24, that four-day training, that annual training. And then later this month, October 28th, we're going to do four mini workshops. And I have some ideas, but I would really love your ideas too. And um, if you would just chat, oh, I would love a mini workshop on whatever your topic Um I would love to hear from you as well. So those mini workshops are not, are, I can't give you more information yet because I'm really waiting to hear from you as well. I don't wanna just pick my four topics and then one of you will come in with a topic that I think would be even more meaningful to us. So go ahead and send that in. And um, videos that's been really hopping because we've had so many requests for videos about zoom teaching zoom so uh, we have pre-recorded lessons that are going out uh to you know we we 
we send them they're going home whenever the classroom teacher is saying here kids it's music time <laughs> um so so we have to record every week for some of our schools and um many of you know coach ann the spectacular coach ann she does all our online training and consultations and just helps me in a million ways um, she's delightful on video and if you've been if you're a music rhapsody member doing those weekly remote lessons you probably feel like your best friends with Anne because she does so many awesome awesome videos every week um, Anne has really been our early childhood specialist for eight years yeah. eight years and adrian you see her in the remote lessons a lot she's been our elementary um or specialist so those two teachers have been doing their recorded lessons and have been teaching zoom lessons as well uh, diana is the other one that you might see she's also uh one of our early childhood specialists that's been helping with those lessons. So there you see our famous uh, goodbye song. This year we went with the Beethoven just because it was easier for everybody, all of us who just got, like we just had so many teachers um, new to the training this summer. So we wanted to stick with the one that we use for the training and we we love what we know and it just is such a challenging time we're like let's sit day with tidy oh hello song and come my friends goodbye song um just to uh, you know just have the comfort of of the songs that that we will all have in common because for me i have to rotate those songs i would get tired of doing the same one you know for 40 years <laughs> so i have a rotation of them of course you can see those in the music box downloads the other things that i use and and in the kids can listen book the, all those orchestral pieces of the ones that are goodbye songs are in there so you have the orchestra to accompany your little singers so we added here puppets uh, puppets with a song so what we did it for our families um, some special events and just tried to keep in contact in those months that would you know and even now we're still shut down in california with our schools so trying to stay connected with them and doing our zoom lessons but then just offering some really playful fun things that might help the parent get their work done we were definitely hearing how stressful it was with our parents in trying to get work done so we like little show type things that might be fun for the children to watch and you know we love what we know so those songs they want to hear over and over so things like puppets with the song and then we had meet the instruments um this is such a these are such cute cute videos watching these children in the little presentation but they brought their instruments so you know you can see this little guy's got his little toy saxophone and um and how many of you are teaching zoom and the kindergartner brings their glow in the dark recorder that they got at the dollar store thank you so much <laughs> they love to bring those instruments um so then the the request that we had lately from a couple teachers to share more of the actual Zoom lessons with different ages. And we're really hearing some people are struggling. Of course, we certainly did too in March, trying to figure everything out. So, um, so we have uh, big kids. So that's three, four, three, four, five-year-olds. I have one here. Um, that's one of my Zoom lessons with my two and three-year-olds. There's teacher Deanna, and uh, this is an interview I did with her because she had done a whole lot of Zoom teaching. Um, and I said, I'm getting a lot of questions where we share what's been the most helpful and um, tips and whatever. So this is like an interview, short, short interview that I do with her. And I think she shares um, 
and we discuss a lot of the things that have worked really well for us. So hopefully that is helpful. And uh, this is five, four, five, and six-year-olds here in the Young Musicians class. And um, all of the, like I said, all the remote lessons you find in the Music Rhapsody membership, remote lessons, it's its own, it's its own category now. So all of these things that you see in Music Box, in the difference here is these are uh, kind of what I call um, a la carte. And in Music Rhapsody membership, there things are all sorted by age level, by sequential, when do you teach it, by lesson plan, um, with the recordings, with the accompanying videos. So here in Music Box, everything, like I said, is, is just more for the, uh, the a la carte when you just want to i i would like an activity i have to do a birthday party okay i got talked into doing a birthday party for you know my niece's uh daughter i'm going to need something for birthday so you can just put in your search birthday birthday party and plans there'll be some lesson plans there for you so the thing that i did for our anniversary is went to these categories and you can see here um we're showing all kinds of like you are going to see free 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 so i just went to all the categories and hundreds 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 are 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 free So I think that's going to be anniversary fun, I hope, for you to just see that in these different categories. Oh, here's birthday lesson categories over here. All right, so there's two, two complete jam-packed birthday party lessons. Um, some, if you want, I like to do the same hello for sure all year long, but if you want a new hello song plus the, the orf orchestrations and the ideas for these songs are always great to do not just as a hello song obviously these are some great songs as well so again you'll see that there's we've added some we've added some new things but we've also made sure that everything in here is is free for you to download um little recorder if you don't know all around the kitchen that was the new one that we did uh i believe in may um did anybody hear all around the kitchen that recording you you really should like get introduced to that song it's so great so in the kitchen episodes if you don't know the kitchen episodes kitchen music um, and I just shared that so that you could share it with your students. So it's it's just on my YouTube channel. All around the kitchen, there's a video of this. So if you go to Lynn Kleiner Kitchen Music or um, just, yeah, you'd probably have to put in Lynn Kleiner Kitchen Music because I'm sure there's other kitchen music, but <laughs> you'll find all around the kitchen. Um, fantastic for recorder fantastic for writing your own rhythms out of the spices because we spice it up in the kitchen and uh, recording to practice with um it's great so much fun but beginning recorder i always have to have a challenge so it's in like three parts so that's one of our newest songs and you will get a million ideas why like i call this a recorder lesson but you know you don't have to use it for recorder right that it, it's going to be with so many different age groups that you would love that song so anyway there you go free 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 now when you do see um when you do see that there is something that still has a price it comes from the section uh the weekly lesson plans so this category down here weekly lesson plans those are the only ones now that will will be for purchase but you know some of those are 68 pages of complete 
you know, lesson plans. So very, 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 very extensive work that you would find there. All right. And um, when I just want to feel encouraged after, you know, that Zoom lesson wasn't so great. <laughs> I'm going to my testimonials <laughs> and I feel better. Thank you. So thank you to all of you who have contributed with testimonials. And I got some really sweet little words of encouragement this week. So with the anniversary week, and I would just appreciate you so, so much. What I would like to do is just have Coach Ann do a really quick tour because the Music Rhapsody membership, which includes the music box, it's got, like I said, everything kind of organized in the full extensive curriculum there. But there's so much that has been added. And the online training is always accessible if you're a Music Rhapsody member. And so there's been some things that have, have gone there as well. Um, but you know what, I just realized I wanted to highlight one thing for you to download that the EGB line one, two, three, EGB line one, two, three, A is in the space under B, G, E, that hand staff song, and then E, G, B, D, and F. Oh, my thumb, it's too short. So I got to put on my, oh, they love that. So. <laughs> Yeah, and these are really easy to find in the store at Halloween time. So now we can go E, G, B, D, and F, E, G, B, D, and F. So that's a great song, E, G, B, or E, G, B, D, my hand staff song. And I just wanted to show you, these are the kinds of things that we've been adding so much. In the visuals, we've been adding, um, let's see, Bruce. Where is the EGB? I know I have it as a featured, it's a, it's a featured product. Let me go to the home and you'll, you'll, be, you'll be able to find it super quick here because there it is. In the visuals, we've added the PowerPoint. And you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna take the time to show you all the PowerPoint slides but there's 20 like 26 slides there's handout that you can use for zoom lesson or or have them do it live there's a game you play uh, what's my line for note reading so some of this if you've been you know a member this whole time you go oh yeah I know that but we have added so many interactive PowerPoints because our children can get these PowerPoints and we now give them power to manipulate the, if we're making the rhythms or if we're putting the notes on the staff. So there, there's an interactive way to use them as well. And it's just so nice for, especially for the Zoom to have lessons to have those visuals. So we've added them in many, 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 many places. And the other thing we've added, and I'll get you a whole list, what's, where they are is the little coloring sheets or or little little sheet to do your own little composition your writing um, something that's going to go home for them as well so like an optional type thing um yes so i will i'll tell it just for those of you who already have so many of these i'll just tell you which ones in a like maybe the letter next week, which ones have all the different visuals and the send home sheets. And all of those are placed into Music Rhapsody membership where they belong, whether it's remote lesson or your curriculum. So you don't have to get worried, like, where do I put that in? We've already put it in there for you. So I'm gonna have uh, Coach Ann, and if you did online training, yay, you know, Coach Ann. So she's going to give you just a quick little tour of what's come now new um, in online training and in that Music Rhapsody area.
Hello, everyone. I'm so excited that you're all here with us today. I see a lot of familiar faces and some new friends. So let's get into it. As Lynn was saying, Music Box is it's chock full of so many great resources. A la carte and kind of grab what you need and there's a lot of places to go for that music rhapsody membership is if you want that seven course meal already planned out for you and it is delicious <laughs> um so let's go to first talk about <laughs> oh little, uh, our new donnie the donkey <laughs> we're he very just excited. came in today donnie the donkey's back he was retired. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> I know. I told you not to come out yet. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be quiet. All right. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to show you online training first. A lot of you probably have taken it already or you're at least familiar, but we have some new additions that we have been working on. So I'm going to do a screen share. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, so these are the training materials. And first off, one thing that we always update is our training manual. We have um, bumped it up to over 100 pages. We've added some new notation. We've added some handouts. So it's, it's always bumped up every year. And it's just a great one-stop shop, as I always say. Like, you take your notes in there, and you can keep it forever. Um, so that manual is always updated. Another thing that we have updated is day four of our live training videos. So if you aren't aware, Lynn does these four day, um, these four day trainings every year. And the last two that we had this summer, they were virtual. And so not only are we getting great information for live teaching, but also you get to see firsthand what it's like to be virtual. Exactly. So um, right over here, can everyone see my screen share? First off. <laughs> oh, just me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Good. All right. Everybody so, me. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, so like I was saying, I have put in some new videos for day four and day four covers our elementary ages. So um, our rhythm readers, melody makers and recorder rookies. So the videos with um, virtual are like 10 little froggies, orphan movements. We've got another apple tree and remote learning with PowerPoint. And all of the samples that Lynn is using of that power of these PowerPoints, because we've heard a lot about them they they honestly bump up remote learning like tenfold it makes it more fun for the teacher it makes it way more fun for the kids especially when they're able to take control of the mouse and like make their own rhythm with the apples or the muffins or what have you so the samples of the powerpoints that lynn is using in the videos so let me just show you yeah so this is a video obviously um, but she's going to be using PowerPoint in this one. And then the sample of that PowerPoint would be right here. So you'll be able to find PowerPoint if you are already a member. Right now I'm just talking about like online training. But if you remember, you have the PowerPoints in the modules that you have access to. This is just where you can watch the video of it being used and then practice. So that is how we've updated day four. And that is always in the works. We're always bumping that up. Let me go into Music Rhapsody membership. So for online training, online training is how you learn how to use the materials. You see Lynn working her magic. You understand the scaffolding of how these lesson plans work with each other from day one to year seven. I mean, it, it always builds upon itself. And then Music Rhapsody membership is where all of her curriculum lives. So all of her lesson plans, all of her recordings that are, uh, go along with the lesson plan, so you can download those and use them. Also all the videos of, um, of every single activity and every single lesson plan. 
as well as now we have visuals. Um, we've had the smart notebook, smart board visuals before, but since you know those have kind of been phasing out a little bit, we've we've transferred a lot of those into PowerPoint as well as made some new ones. So for brand new uh, PowerPoint, because um, we've got we had PowerPoints for recorder rookies, melody makers, rhythm readers, young musicians, and now we have them for big kids. So big kids is our it, it could be like our fours, could be fives, you know, that that kind of age where they're able to, you know, do be at the ORF instruments and um, and everything. So this is just an example of one of the new ones, and I wanted to show you our big kids slideshow. So this is lessons one through ten, and they're all they're interactive. You can play from the current slide and go through it as such. Sally, go around the sun. Woo. Sally, go around the moon. Woo. Sally, go around the chimney top every afternoon. And who knows it? Boom! Right? So that just automatically grabs the attention of the kids. And, you know, it goes. I love the 10 froggies that are all the way down here. You know, you add each one. One little froggy goes up. One. Along goes the line. goes up. So anyway, that um, is, wait, let's see. I hope that you can see my PowerPoint. <laughs> I sure hope so. Can you see my, my big kids PowerPoint? Thumbs up. Awesome. Yay. Okay, great. So that's our brand new addition to the PowerPoints, our big kids. We are working on module two. Right now we've got module one. And Adrian's with us. Oh, yes. Adrian, yeah. <laughs> PowerPoint <laughs> extraordinaire. Um, we've got module two in the works. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, so with all this talk about remote learning, let's, walk, let's see where the remote packs are. Uh, so, I'm just going to go up to Curriculum and Modules, right over here. Ba -ba here it is, Remote Learning Lesson Packs. So we are working on these weekly. We are always adding to these. I just finished working on some right before I came over here. Um, let me show you. So if you're a member, you have access to these lesson packs. And I've heard of teachers using them in several different ways. I mean, first of all, I don't want to forget that the PowerPoints are all editable, by the way. So like you can download them and use them how you need them. Um, you could use them how we have them, but you can edit them if you need to. The remote lesson packs, we also wanted to kind of keep that spirit in mind. Every teacher is different. Every learning, every teaching situation is different, especially now. So we want to make these as editable as possible so and give you as much control as we can so we've got remote lesson packs from babies through melody makers right now you know we just put up week seven we're always putting them up every week so you've got them but let me give you an example so as you can see big kids lesson seven i just put that up <laughs> um so the way that the remote lessons work, they all combine four elements. One, we've got the links and directions because we make a, a playlist, a video playlist for your students, um, for your students, for your parents to watch. And you can kind of use that as supplemental to the lesson plan that you are going to do with them. Or I have some teachers that send it to their school that they were teaching at and that's kind of like their lesson for the week. You can kind of use it either way, um, but we've got the link and directions right there. And this is also like you could kind of copy and paste this into an email and send it to your school or your parents. Um, we've got the learning objectives. So talking about each activity in the lesson plan and kind of just putting out the details on um, what the, those objectives are for each activity. Um, we also have handouts. Now, we had handouts for our older kids, our more elementary, you know, like, you know, write in the, the two sounds on the beat or, or what have you. We've been also making 
coloring pages for those students who are, you know, they're younger, the younger students. So we've been busy making these as well. And, you know, this is one for one of our classics, five little jack-o'-lanterns, you know, draw the face on the pumpkin and then put them on the fence. And it, it, all of the handouts go along with the lesson plan for that week. Like we were saying, this is the seven course meal. You don't have to, okay, I, I'm on music box and I'm grabbing the handouts over here and I'm watching the video over here. It's like, no, we, we put it together weekly for you. Um, and then also the lyrics for all the songs that are in those activities as well. Um, but that is our uh, early childhood lessons. And then for our older kids, for our elementary, we have the um, lessons that Adrian has been making with the PowerPoints through Zoom. Like you get to see firsthand, like this is what it's going to look like um, if you were to watch a video of a teacher using the actual PowerPoints or using the visuals or using the songs that come from, um, from Music Rhapsody membership. So that is kind of a crash course in our remote lesson packs right there. Um, but, oh yeah, and then real quick, this is a special deal that we have going on. Uh, because some of you are already Music Rhapsody members, which is wonderful. Welcome. Um, and then some of you might be in online training, but we have a deal going on right now that it, there's a package that you can get both at the same time uh, and, and talk to me about that. If you have any questions, you know, that we don't get to tonight, which we're talking a whole bunch. So I apologize if someone has a question that we don't get to you can please email me. If you have a pen or a pencil, you can write down my email. You chat it now. Uh, yes, yeah. I'm going to chat it. I chatted it earlier, but it might be buried a little bit. So um, it is Anne, so A-N-N, -N, at musicrhapsody.com. So if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Um, we always love hearing from you. And then again, we've got those mini workshops coming up. You can also message me if you have ideas like, oh, can you cover this or this? You know, please let me know anything that you um, would like to have covered. Okay, I'm oh. coming back. All right. <laughs> okay, so questions. Um, thank you, thank you to those who send questions. Uh, early, and I also want to say if you did have a question for Anne, as far as um, you know, you want, like she said, that, that right now we're trying to make it as easy as possible for teachers for Music Box, Music Rhapsody online training to just get everything. She, you can just select a time with her, and I will have Anne put that in. You just put chat that out so that they have the link to if they a want consultation. to do a consultation. Um, that you can do it right now. You can book a time with Anne if you want to do a consultation on any of that, or you want to see further in any certain area or questions on that. Um, so, one of the questions that I had uh, was what I showed you that we added now in the videos the tips and tricks for Zoom teaching and, you know, just can, whatever you could share about that. So that video that I showed you, that interview with Deanna, I hope you will watch that. And then there are some samples, but uh, I think we all said that, that the, you know, like when you do hand claps, hand claps are kind of fun. Um, you know, you with your partner and your partner with your whole class, but tempos tend to need to be just a little bit slower. Um, movement, 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 and more movement because they're, they seem to be sitting way too much in their day. And, um, and of course, we all know in our classroom, it's the same thing, right? When it's, it's, it's all about the movement. So um, we want to be sure we get them get them up body percussion wake up that brain i wish they could have little movement breaks you know 
scattered throughout their day. Um, the interactive PowerPoints and giving them control is so exciting. And once you get that, you learn about how to just give them that control. And sometimes you do need a parent to just step in that first time to show that to them. But once you're doing that, we're getting really good feedback on how much fun that is. And that little rhythm reader curriculum, oh my goodness, rhythm readers, melody makers, and they're, they're taken over with that. It's just been so, so, so much fun. We couldn't do that when we gave you smart board and we gave you smart notebook. So this is why we really had to go to work, huh, Adrian? <laughs> we had to take those and put them in a format where we could send these home with Zoom. It, it just was a whole different world. You know, they're not going to have smart notebook on their computers, you know, um, on their phone or whatever device. So it, it, it's been really great having everything switched over. Um, and, and like we said, we're working hard on module two right now because I know I've had some comments lately. Hey, <laughs> module two is coming, right? Yes, it is. It is. We are working on it. Um, of course, the variety and the surprises. And, um, you know, I, I, my assistant or whichever assistant I'm going to choose. They are more, they are more important now than ever with my little guys. And there are just so, so many things that they can do. So I'm looking for one always that can hold the mallet, that can hold the striker, that leads how I'm going to play, going to play for the end of the phrase on the triangle or um is going to tell me the little secret what's coming up next um they're beat keepers um sometimes they act out the movement part coming in coming out so these are some that have been my favorite and you know how we cry and you've heard me moan and groan about these puppets get retired coco the horse some of you know that was one of the, the biggest tragedies <laughs> in my life. no i just i couldn't live without coco the horse so um you know that's that's how they do it i say if you if oh there's coco adrian's got a coco lucky you adrian lucky you yeah look at that <laughs> look at the hub it's okay but now donnie the donkey who we felt so bad i had been retired is now back and uh, i'm not kidding so 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 adorable i had to do a little there we go, little, little dental work there. That's just, oh my goodness, so cute. So now his imagination is incredible. He likes to pretend that he's Coco the horse. So there you go, yeah. He can play all the parts for Coco the horse. He, he does bell horses, come to the farm. Yeah, when horses get up in the morning, we can do donkeys get up in the morning. Yeah, you could do it all, right? Yes, yes. He says, every bit as good as Coco the horse. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> somebody just chatted that they named their horse puppet Belle. That is too cute. This guy, this guy has some bad surprises. Okay, so this, he's pretty funny, but. Ah! Yeah. This is for Zoom teaching only, right? Can you imagine? He had given this to a child. Ah, <laughs> that would be disaster. But anyway, this is what we're looking for. Can they hold things in their mouth? Like the, I have one rhythm stick, they have the other, or I have the tone block, and the puppet has the mallet. I'm um, singing, singing. This, this puppet can match anyone. So Robin, if you sing to me, if you, if you, you sing, hello, my little friend will sing, hello. Or if you give me a really low one, 
so good. Like these ears, woohoo, great, great hearing can match any pitch, right? Because we're working on, it's, it's the beginning of our school year. We're so working on pitch matching. So, and then we can see, can we match, it, maybe there's someone else here who can match each other. So imagination pretends, plays the part of other, of other characters. Singing, very talented singer can match anything that, that, that you sing. Um, and plays instruments beautifully. Yes, and also loves to improvise. So uh, the other one that's been entertaining me is this little precious. Yes, the puppy. Yeah, you're so cute. Yes, hello. Very good at holding items and everybody loves the puppy. Okay, so the, the variety the surprises um, in our live classes, because I've uh, I had somebody ask the question about um, distancing. How are you doing that with the, the children in your setting where it's just one big room? We're using the Velcro tape for our older kids. For our younger kids, um, they, they have their own little blanket and depending on our setting sometimes we're pre-setting our blankets out for them so they know they come in one at a time and then they have their little space and um we have their little instruments or or for the older ones the younger ones 100 percent are required to have their own little instrument kit that's in the studio setting in the school setting we're having their own little kit made up Adrian worked very, 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 very hard with her elementary school getting their little individual kids. Um, so the, the Velcro tape is good in dividing everybody up in their own areas and the blankets has worked really well with us. Um, I think the hardest thing for me after teaching for so long, the hard, hardest thing for me was um, I'm, I did not feel like I was at the, I was the master teacher, <laughs> you know, like usually you go in there, yes, I can wait till you see what I got, you know, you're going to love this lesson. And I just have that, you know, like, you don't think you like music, you just wait to see, well, okay. And I, and I feel really confident and great and Zoom really knocks you on your, yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Oh, there, there were some lessons that you know. I'm, I'm like, oh, that was a disaster. That was a disaster. You know, I just, you know, you feel bad. So, you know, I think that's been for all of us to remind each other: don't be so hard on yourself. And, um, you know, we're getting better and better at it. But in the back of your mind, you're like, do I have to keep getting better at it? I just want to be back live. <laughs> in the classes. Um, and then the other thing for us certainly is that you just absolutely cannot please everyone. You, you know, what, what one is calling to say is just the opposite of what someone else, you know, I want the teacher to take that mask off. My child can't understand what they're saying. And then you've got another one going, you know, well, we're you know, I don't care if you're 12 feet away and we are outside. I want that mask on, you know. So, um, you know, there's just so many different things going on right now. And, and we just have to say, you know, do the very, very best we can and don't be so hard on ourselves and, and just realize that no matter what, you know, there's probably somebody that it's, it's not the perfect situation you know and that changes too i mean we have people that come back and then they get fearful and you know like they, they they're ready to come back and then all of a sudden they'll go no i don't you know i'm not ready to come in. so you know all right do we let's see we have um oh okay so are have you been chatting i have many workshop ideas 
So keep chatting those in. That's good. They're coming in. Thank you. Um, Spanish lessons is, was there a request for that? Yes. Okay. So that's coming this anniversary special month. Yes. Yes. Those will be available for sure. So I'm thinking like just mini, like mini Spanish lessons, um, maybe 20, 30 minutes, not, not like our full curriculum lessons where they're 45 uh, because we're going to just do a series of lessons that are going to really be with the Spanish music rhapsody with those those songs or some very very standard ones that we have and then you know we have already some visuals like En La Granja de Matillo and um, I think there's some other little coloring sheets and things that will go with that if you're teaching it remotely that you could send home as well and um i got my my feeling is the lessons are taking great shape right now i have i believe i have about 10 almost ready to go um and it might be one of those things that the person who says can we get spanish lessons you know maybe i'll give you that you know it goes primarily with the music rhapsody Spanish music rhapsody. Um, and then we'll see about getting those take home sheets and the, and the visuals and, you know, some of them are done, but not all of them. But um, you can let me know in music box how anxious this request for the Spanish lessons and I, you know, maybe, maybe we can get you some before the whole, the whole thing is done, but those will be a lot of fun. Um, Oh, okay. So um, if you go to if you go to musicrhapsody.com and then you go to memberships, look memberships, they'll there's there's the columns that will show you the difference. So it's kind of like there's a subscription, so you're just gonna get the letter and the blog and you know, so that's the subscription and then there's a music box member and then ev you get everything is the music rhapsody membership so um if you go to musicrhapsody.com memberships you can see the the difference there the prices and then the special deal that we have right now if you have not taken the online training and the uh, music rhapsody don't have the music rhapsody membership or the online training um I believe it's like uh, 200, I can get 200 and something off right now. If you want to get that, that package, I think it's 200 or it's something. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So if you want the consultation again for questions or more on that, you can set that up with Anne. And yes, certainly if you do the online training in Music Rhapsody, you already have Music Box that comes with it. Are there any, were there any other questions? Anne's sorting those out for me. So um, if, if you think of something after we say goodbye, you just click Ask Lynn in Music Box and, and I'll be excited to see you in there and I'll answer it for you. And you can also put your mini workshop ideas in Music Box too. Oh, and yes, if there is somebody here with us that that came today but is not a member yet, you can always email it, Lynn L Y N N at musicrhapsody.com, Ann A N N at musicrhapsody.com. All right, are there any other questions? Is that it? Okay, well then, I guess Donnie will throw the kisses. Mm. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. We'll see you at the four mini workshops, and I'll let you know each week what's new because we're we're um we're pretty excited about this anniversary month. So we got lots of great stuff coming. Okay.
Bye.